Welcome to another tutorial on the SMOKE program and its functions. For this video, we will demonstrate how a chief or a department secretary can add a new employee to their roster within the SMOKE program. From the SMOKE login page, please log in under your credentials as either a chief or a department secretary. If necessary, confirm or update your information in the system. What you're looking for is to make sure that you have the ability to do either of these two functions is if you open the My Data tab on the left-hand side of the screen, you should see several additional options. You're looking for Add New User, Add Existing User, and View Users. Those are some of the additional functions that come with those two roles. So let's add a brand new user. So for our definition, a brand new user to the system using the Add New User function is someone that does not have any Michigan Firefighter Training Council training as yet and has never received a PIN number previously for the SMOKE program. So as you can see, there are many fields that we need to complete in order to add a new user. First is gonna be an email. and we'll go through the fields. Anything with a red asterisk has to be completed. You must select a county. When selecting the designation, please remember that the cadet or the explorer designation are only to be used for those fire departments that have an approved cadet or explorer program and that the applicant is under the age of 18. So for this case, we're gonna say a firefighter paid. Today's start date, the fire department will default to your fire department that you hold the user role of either fire chief or department secretary for. At that point, you're going to add new user. And you should get a green confirmation bar that the user was created successfully. Now let's add an existing user. So you have an applicant to your fire department who does have previous Michigan Firefighter Training Council certification and they already exist within the program. Rather than duplicating the information, we're gonna use the add existing user function. This function is tied to the driver's license number of your applicant. Bear in mind, this has to be an exact typographical match to how that driver's license is listed within their smoke profile. In this case, you're gonna see the driver's license is entered this is the preferred method of entry that the training division has adopted for entry of the driver's license. You may also see spaces or dashes in between several sets of the characters. Again, select their designation, remembering the cadet and explorer sub requirement, and then their start date, and then hit save. User has been added and it fills in the rest of the information as based on their profile and smoke. To view your roster to determine that folks have been added to your roster, that is the view users function on the left. This will give you an alphabetical list, 10 listings at a time for those firefighters that are affiliated with your fire department. We hope this video assists you in managing the smoke program for your department. Thank you and have a good day.